Winter has arrived. First snow, now an Arctic blast with temperatures plunging right now. I'm Adam Hammond. CDOT has been out in full force all day, but the roads are slick and icy. I'm going to show you how to track those plows for yourself. I'm Thomas Hoppo in Breckenridge, and it's an early Christmas present for mountain resorts, fresh powder for boarders and skiers. Snow isn't done. Another system's moving in. Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson has your first alert holiday travel forecast. Our team coverage starts right now. Good evening, everybody. Glad you're with us. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. It is the first day of winter, and boy, does it feel like it. Now, the snow has stopped, but the sun's down now, so the refreeze begins. Right now, parts of eastbound and westbound sides of I-70 near the tunnel are closed because of several crashes. We start tonight with Denver 7's Jackie Crea. She is sitting in that traffic in the high country. Jackie? <laughs> Yes, we are sitting here. We've been here about 20 minutes or so. You know, the bad news, if you're heading towards the mountains, this is what you're going to expect. We're probably about three miles before the Empire Junction going west on I-70 within the hour that was recently closed. So this is the resulting backup. Um, good news, parts of westbound I-70 near Eisenhower Tunnel, as you just said, have been opened up, but it's slow moving because there's just so many accidents. I mean, the roads are kind of clear, but you can, it's wet, slushy, there's still some snow. And as Stacy was saying earlier, we can expect that refreeze. Um, just a couple more closures and bits of information for you. Uh, in front of us, going westbound I-70, um, it's closed at Silverthorne. And then something I want to remind you about, CDOT just tweeted that they're putting that traction law in effect between Silverthorne and Georgetown. So if you're wondering what it looks like out on the roads, here it is. We've been sitting here for a little bit trying to actually figure out how we're going to get out of this. Um, but on, you know, both sides of the highway going west along I-70. It's just uh, almost at a complete standstill. So we will keep an eye on it for you and I'm going to send it back to you, Stacy, in the studio. Thank you, Jackie. And yes, we are still under a first alert action day because of the snow this morning. Now the refreeze that's happening at this point as temperatures dive well below the freezing mark. Now we still have some snow down toward Pueblo. For the most part, the snow has stopped here around Denver, as we were mentioning, but it is arctically cold out there. We have mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some clearing as we head through the rest of the night. 10 degrees in Bennett right now, 17 for Parker and 8 for Evergreen and Conifer. Temperatures still in the single digits and teens across the plains. Mostly teens and 20s for the mountains, but you factor in the wind. Feels like zero in Sterling and Akron below zero for Lyman and only 14 here in Denver. Actually in Aurora, it feels like six degrees outside. We have winter weather advisories in effect here for our central and southern mountains through this evening and a winter storm watch that has been issued for Friday and Saturday here for our northern and central mountains for another storm st snowstorm that is coming our way. So we'll give you an update on that coming up in a little bit. Let's first go to Adam Hammond, who is tracking what's going on out there. And CDOT is instrumental in these storms, Adam. Yes, they, they are busy right now. We have just a, flu a few flurries flying. The roads aren't terrible here downtown because people have been driving on them all day, but they are in some places. CDOT has had crews out since 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They have 102 crews out during the day, and then when we start getting it tonight, they're going to have 100 of those snow plows and road treatment crews out. Take a look at this. There's a pretty cool tool for you. You can go to cotrip.org. And in the top corner, there's an option for snow plows. Click that. Each truck has a GPS and it shows up on this interactive map in real time. And this website can help you plan your trip or see when one of these snow plows is going to end up in your neighborhood. Now, this is one of the first times CDOT has had to dig into its pockets this season to prepare for winter weather. And that's really good. That's saving them a lot of money. They actually still have 84% of their budget left for the rest of the season, which is a pretty good thing considering most of our snow here in the Denver metro area falls in March. So we always have that to look forward to. Reporting live downtown, I'm Adam Hammond. Back to you guys. All right, thanks everybody. And take it slow out there tonight, especially on the side roads. Part of the Metro Public Works decided not to plow because it just didn't feel it was enough accumulation. So we are continuing our team coverage tonight with Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen, who's in some of our neighborhoods. And Jacqueline, how's it looking for those people trying to get in, out, get in and out of their driveways? Okay, well, we want to show you, we are here in Congress Park, and when I want to give you an idea of what some of these neighborhood streets look like. There was snow on them, it was packed down, and now it's frozen, and it's turned into ice. You can see I'm being really careful walking on it, because this is solid ice right now. 
not that great to drive on. Okay, so take a look at this video. I want to show you what the conditions were like earlier today. The driver was having a heck of a time. He was spinning all over the roads today, and that's a main road. Now, Denver Public Works tells us this storm was a challenge because it wasn't big enough to deploy their residential plows on neighborhood streets because they're mostly designed to shave off a few inches of snow to prevent that deep ice rutting that we get here, not to take a street down to bare pavement, so it wouldn't have helped much. Now, those trucks all also don't carry de-icing material, so it wouldn't have helped with the icy areas that you see here back live in Congress Park. But the good news is there is a new policy this season that when all of the large plows in Denver deploy, all of the residential plows will deploy as well in the future. So hopefully we'll be seeing some better residential neighborhood streets this time of year so it's easier for us to get out of our neighborhoods and to those main roads here in Denver. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Thank you, Jacqueline. And for those of you who are spending your first winter in Colorado, we have some tips for you on how to stay safe on our roads. You can check out that list right now on our free Denver 7 app. And some of you are calling this snowfall a Christmas miracle. Just in time for the holiday week and fresh powder for skiers and boarders. And after a slow start to the season, the resorts are thrilled. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo is in Breckenridge tonight. Uh, you spoke to some of those happy skiers, Thomas. Yeah, everybody is happy because since we got here, it hasn't stopped snowing since about 1.30. And don't let this fool you. I've only been standing outside for about 10 minutes, and this is how I'm covered. But everybody's happy because it's right before Christmas. Take a look at the video that we got earlier. These are everybody over here on the slopes skiing. And everybody's happy because Breckenridge says that they got about 2 to 3 inches of snow today. Now, we've been here since 1.30 when it started snowing. So it's pretty sure that there's more snow than that. But the Breckenridge ski slopes have actually opened up more peaks because of the snow and the holiday weekend, and they expect a lot more people to be coming this weekend. But we spoke to a lot of people who came here just today because it started snowing. It's amazing. I woke up this morning. I was waiting for coming to the resort. It's supposed to get snow, more snow now and uh, tomorrow, I think. Well, the sun was out at 2 o'clock, and, um, and then the clouds came in, and now it's really coming down. So if you plan on coming out here, it's going to continue to snow up here in Breckenridge for the next few days. So if you do plan on coming tonight, be sure to drive carefully because the roads are pretty slick and we're going to do our best to be safe driving back as well. Reporting live in Breckenridge, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. All right, Thomas, do be safe out there. On the other side of town, out at the airport, teams are out in full force today, making sure the snow and slick runways don't mess up your holiday travel. Airport officials say about 30% of flights had some sort of delay today and Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is keeping an eye on flights ahead of one of the busiest travel days of the year. He will have a live report in about 10 minutes and Denver 7 is always working to keep you ahead of the storm. You can download the Denver 7 app or our Storm Shield app to get pinpoint alerts for weather conditions in your neighborhood.